What is going on guys, Money Webby here, back again on Thursday, only a two games slated here today, but we have some good games, the reigning NBA champs, Golden State Warriors, facing off against the Boston Celtics, currently riding a 13 game winning streak, they're feeling great, and they played well against the Warriors over the last couple years, they actually beat Golden State in Golden State twice over the past two years, so this game should be a very good matchup. Uh, I think it stays close, like I said, and should stay fairly low scoring, though. Like, not as many points as some people probably think in the spot. Both those team, both these teams are very good defensively. The Warriors are probably the best defensive team when they want to be. So I think they'll come out with a chip on their shoulder in this matchup. But I still like some guys in the Celtics, considering the matchups. And I like some guys in the Warriors, considering the matchups. So we'll get into that in a bit. But I think the Rockets-Suns game will be much more higher scoring, faster paced, but another variable to throw in there is that the Rockets could easily blow out the Suns in that matchup. A much better team, but they are playing in Phoenix, so maybe they don't uh, get the blowout in that spot. But we're going to talk about that in a quick second. My fi my favorite f uh, five guys to target in those games. But the question of the night I've been seeing a lot of people asking is, James Harden, do I play him or don't, or don't play him? In cash games, I probably wouldn't play him. I think it's too risky. Uh, with not as many value guys that I feel like very safe about. They're kind of risky value guys because you got to go a lot of value with James Harden at 12,700. Like if you throw him in your lineup just to start off, you only have 5,300 remaining per player. And on a two game slate, there's not many mid tier guys to really target. So it's very tough to get James Harden in your lineup with that considered about. So I'm going to go more like uh, balanced, kind of intermediate, upper tier guys with my plays to throw in your lineup. It's more of a cash game based, I guess. I, I would say that James Harden is definitely more GPP with some other very risky uh, value guys. Not very risky, but risky value guys to throw in with them. So that's what I got. My top five plays in my Dollar Tree play of the day. Drop a like if you're ready to go. Win some money on the slate and subscribe if you haven't already to get these plays and videos every single day. So my first guy is going to be Kevin Durant going against the Celtics. Probably the best matchup on the court considering everything. Uh, I think Kyrie Irving plays very good defense against Steph Curry. We've seen that in the NBA Finals or the past two uh, years they kind of are similar type players very good ball handlers uh very agile quick players so i think Kyrie Irving can give steph uh some good defense there i think kevin durant will be able to get it done in his matchup probably going to be matchup against the rookie jason tatum in the spot so maybe he tries to teach him a lesson or two in this game i think kevin durant will play some more minutes as well as the game should stay close they've been kind of blowing out every single team over the last couple uh games so i think this game will stay close to probably get around that 36 minute uh log like he had been getting when the games are close earlier in the year so at 9,700, I think he can reach around 50 drafting points with that considered. Uh, great matchup, like I said. Well, not a great matchup, but the best on the court for the Warriors. Al Horford's a very good defender as well against Draymond. So I think Kevin Durant has a nice game here. Uh, he's very active on the defensive end as well with the Warriors. Well, not with the Warriors. The Celtics like to attack the rim a lot. So maybe he can get some blocks as well in this spot. So the minutes should be up. Maybe some more usage in this game as well with Steph Curry kind of struggling with Kyrie Irving on defense. So Kevin Durant, 9,700. Lock him in. And probably my favorite play of the slate, though, is going to be Devin Booker at 7,500. Going against Houston, a uh, pretty good matchup with Chris Paul back. He should be matched up against James Harden, who isn't a great defender. They've been pretty weak against three-pointers as well. The Rockets have. They're allowing 38% from the three-point line. And Devin Booker, one of the best three-point shooters in the whole NBA. So I think he has another big game here. He's been shooting very well from the field over the past week or so. Uh, 46 drafting points and 57 in the last two matchups. So against Houston here, like like I said, a fast-paced game, a lot of scoring. I think Devin Booker can have a huge game here, over 40 drafting points in this spot, so lock him in. And for another upper-tier guy, Kyrie Irving at 8,100, going against Golden State. Very good defensive team, like I said. But against Steph Curry, he's kind of ruined him in the NBA Finals of the past few years. He averaged 29 points per game last year in the NBA Finals. Now was matched up against the same exact Golden State team for the most part. So I think he has another big game here, a high-volume scorer. I think he has another high-volume here again. And he's able to drive at will against Draymond down low. He kind of just ruins him every single time with these accurate acrobatic finishes against Draymond. Draymond. Draymond Green isn't big enough to really compete with Kyrie. Like Kyrie really struggles against the lanky, like tall guys down low that he can't really do his acrobatic finishes against. But against Draymond, he's really able to do whatever he wants against them finishing wise. So 8,100, I think he'll be able to score very well. And his assists have been going up this year as well. 
So I see around maybe like 30 points in this game and around 7 assists for Kyrie, honestly. I think he can have a very good game at 8,100. So lock him in. So those are my uh, first three guys. All the studs I'm looking at for tonight. You can fin you can fill out more of a balanced lineup like James Harden in there. You almost have as much as the as much as the same salary, but with those three studs, you're much more balanced and much more like capable of having safe output from those guys. So that's really what I'm looking at. Them for my fourth guy, Marcus Morris at 4,900 going against Golden State. Uh, they're pretty small, so I think Marcus Morris is going to play some more minutes here. Going with that smaller lineup, with that kind of stretch for smaller four here in this matchup. So I think Marcus Morris will get, will get around 25 minutes again here. Get some rebounds and score. He's been shooting very well since he came back from that injury. So I think he can approach maybe a double-double again in the spot at 4,900. And he's actually a pretty good matchup against Draymond Green. He's actually a really good defender. So I like this spot for Marcus Morris. Lock him in there. So that's my first four guys. And they uh, complete the top five. We got Trevor Reza. 5,200 going against Phoenix. He's been playing a ton of minutes as of late, over 30 minutes per game. He had 43 against the Cavs. So I think he'll get a lot of minutes again in this game. Uh, maybe they get P.J. Tucker some more run, though, off the bench. He is going against his old team. But Trevor Ariza, I like the matchup. Uh, Phoenix can't cover a soul. I think I could put up some drafting points against him, honestly. So Trevor Ariza, he's been shooting pretty damn well from the field. Five threes in each of the last two games. And he's able to return a lot of value. He's been returning value on his price tag a lot as of late. Like over 30 drafting points almost like every other game or almost every game for him. So in this fast-paced game, a lot of scoring. I think you can easily approach 30 drafting points as long as the minutes are there again, as long as they don't get cute with the minutes in this spot. So Trevor Reza, lock him man. So that completes the top five. You only got 4,800 remaining per player, but there are some great value guys that I got that I really like. First off, Greg Monroe, 4,100. This is if the minutes are going to be there. Uh, they, are, they just reported that he's going to be available for this game. But maybe some reports come out that he's only going to be playing like 10 to 15 minutes. If that comes out, I probably won't go Greg Monroe. But if he is able to play his full complement of minute, full complement of minutes, then I think we'll have a great game here. I think Alex Len could easily get in foul trouble against Clint Capella. He gets in foul trouble a lot, so that would mean around 20 plus minutes for Greg Monroe and a good matchup, honestly, against Tariq Black on the bench, who isn't a great, a great defender. I don't believe. And um, Greg Monroe, just a great offensive scorer. And also, like, Tariq Black on the other side of the ball, like I was saying. Uh, he's just a little bit too cheap at 3,500 with Nene not playing this game. I think Tariq Black can get around 20 minutes in this spot going against Phoenix. And like I said, Greg Monroe, he's a great scorer offensively as a big, but he's not a great defensive big. So I think Tariq Black can get something, some stuff done on that offensive end. He's a good rebounder as well. He's able to fill it up in his limited minutes throughout his career. So I think Tariq Black is another good value guy. So those are my two Dollar Tree plays of the day. You got Greg Monroe, Tariq Black, two guys I'm very high on as my value guys of the day. Then you got the top five, Kyrie Irving, Devin Booker, Kevin Durant, Marcus Morris, and Trevor Ariza. So that's the top five and the two Dollar Tree plays of the day. So drop a like in the video if you did enjoy and got anything out of value on this video. And subscribe if you haven't already to get these winning picks every single day. I wish you guys the best of luck on this two-game slate. Like I said, it can be very um, uh, weird and kind of unpredictable sometimes in two game slates because like the matchups can make sense but like sometimes in these games like it's a day it's a daily game like some stuff just like doesn't work out like sometimes the coaches can kind of switch some stuff up <clears throat> stuff some stuff up and you don't even see it coming so like you kind of have to do what you can on these slates i'm going off pure matchups and what i think is going to happen on this slate so i think it should work out though for the most part feel pretty confident about these plays hopefully james harden doesn't go for like 90 drafting points in this game, but I don't think he will. I think they should get up pretty uh, around like 10 or so, 10, 15, and then kind of have James Harden take the back seat, hopefully, in that game. So that's all I got, guys. I wish you guys the best of luck on this two-game slate, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.